What is good everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today we have a crazy one for you. I really don't know how to start this video because it's kind of like a spur of the moment which is why I look like dog shit. However, today I'm going to the Royal Rumble. I'm not going to the Royal Rumble today, but I'm on the way to the Royal Rumble, so I gotta get my shish packed. It's kind of a spur-of-the-moment type deal, man. I'm, I'm gonna have a good, great seat at the Royal Rumble. That's insane to even say. But I'm just gonna take you with me on my journey, man. I don't know what the hell to expect. I'm gonna go down there, gonna probably check out the Superstore, maybe go on a toy hunt or whatever, but join me as we fly to San Antonio right now and go to the Royal Rumble. Let's get it. So if you guys were unaware, I am from Tuscaloosa, so I am about 40 minutes away from Birmingham, which is where my flight was. So I had to drive about 45 minutes to Birmingham. I left my house around like 4.30 p.m. Got to Birmingham about an hour before my flight. My flight was at 7 p.m. It was about a two and a half hour flight over to Dallas, and then I had the connecting flight over to San Antonio. If you guys were unaware, they don't do straight flights anymore for obvious reasons. But I flew over to Dallas, and I was hungry, so I did go into this little 7-Eleven and I had myself some chill time, so I did grab a Snickers and a Diet Coke. Diet Doozy was unavailable. They did not have any Mountain Dew or Pepsi products in the entire store, so I had to settle for a Diet Coke. But once my time, I charged up my phone, got onto my second flight, and had the exit seat, unfortunately. If you guys know about that situation, had to be prepared for a crash at any moment. Flight was super smooth, plus I had the extra leg room, which was nice. I just played Tetris on my phone, flew over 40 minutes to San Antonio, and landed, I think, just either before or after midnight, but Jonathan and Steven were there to pick me up. Alright guys, I just landed in San Antonio and my buddies Jonathan and Steven, you guys remember them from the Smackdown vlog, they are actually picking me up and I'm going to be staying with them in the hotel. They went to the Royal Rumble as well, so there they are in the car. So, maybe they'll help me load my stuff. We'll see. It's Big John. Big John and Steven. What's going on? What's up, man? <laughs> you want me to put this in the trunk? Yeah. All right. It was, uh, it wasn't terrible. I get bad, like, airplane ear. Yeah. I tried earplugs on the first flight. It did decent. And then, uh, I did gum, Tylenol, and earplugs on the first flight. Oh, and it, it worked pretty much the whole time. It, it hurt for about 10 minutes at one point. But that flight, I, I was like, F it. I'm not doing nothing. And actually, I didn't have any issues, so... <laughs> what a beautiful view. Looks good. Gotta love cars on the highway. <laughs> I don't know. Alright guys, so we're going to the Superstore right now, and uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys there, but I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get in the car and I'll see you there. Alright, Steven's driving us. Don't wreck us. As soon as we pulled out of Mercedes to pick John's stuff up. <laughs> ran a red light. I ran a red light straight up across four lanes of traffic. <laughs> So we hopped in the car and we drove across town. I think our hotel was maybe five to 10 minutes away from the Alamo Dome where they were holding the Superstore. So we did hop in the car, we drove across town. It was a beautiful looking city, even though it rained the entire time almost that we were there. We got to see a lot of sights. We got to hear the sounds, you know, check out the sights and everything like that. But again, man, the rain was insane. It rained and was overcast the entire time we were there and the entire 11 hour drive back home. So I can tell you, I have not seen rain in like 10 days and I gotta say it's kind of making me depressed there it is boys Alamo Dome how you feel I mean it's pretty dead out here honestly I don't even know if they can hear me but hopefully I need a mic. All right, guys, so we did walk down to the Alamo Dome. We got to see the outside of the building where we would be going to the Royal Rumble on Saturday. This was recorded on the Friday before, so we figured we needed to hit up the Superstore. Tons of signs hung up outside of the place. It was great. There was a massive sign out on the staircase, but going into the Superstore entrance, it was pretty good size. You know, they had tons and tons of Royal Rumble memorabilia, jerseys, t-shirts, all sorts of hats, chains. I mean, you name it, they probably had some sort of souvenir at the place. The best thing that I saw was the San Antonio 316 shirt, and they had a pretty cool HBK hat and shirt as well. But one of the cooler things was the memorabilia and the antiques and artifacts collectibles that they had on display. I'm talking Rowdy Piper. They had Rey Mysterio stuff on display. His mask from his 2006 win. They had Triple H stuff. I mean, they had they had all sorts of things on display that you could look at, and I, I think it was very cool to see on display, especially 
especially the Stone Cold Steve Austin vest from 2001. They had the Intercontinental Championship. I mean, they had all sorts of memorabilia scattered throughout the store. I thought it was well put together. Everything was really cool and well lit. It was a very nice area to finally visit a superstore like this. I had never been to a WrestleMania one. I had never been to another pay-per-view one. So seeing this one in person was really awesome. But one thing I will say is that the WWE action figure section was kind of a scam. Not a scam, but if you're a casual WWE figure collector, I have some news. Bro, these basics have been at my big lots. They, these basics were at my big lots six months ago. Just to put it in perspective, this is my number one figure of 2022. No, wait, 2021. This is my number one figure of 2021. This came out December 2021. So yeah, Brad, if you did buy a WWE Elite or Basic at the Superstore at the Royal Rumble, I guess it's not the worst deal of all time. They were just on ringside collectibles a couple weeks ago for like four or five bucks. However, the championships there were beautiful. That was my most mesmerizing thing. These one of 30 Monday Night Raw championships, the Winged Eagle championships. I mean, this, this was a beautiful spot to see. I wish I could have bought a replica myself, but I didn't want to have to carry it around. The spinners, the WWE championship, all the championships and all this memorabilia right here was absolutely incredible to see up close and personal. I have my own title collection, but seeing all of them up next to each other was really impressive, and I just felt like a lot of the shirts were underwhelming overall. I mean, you had a Hardy shirt there. The Drew McIntyre shirt at the time is kind of eh, in my opinion. I just wasn't feeling a lot of the merch. I ended up not buying anything from the Superstore. However, it was really awesome to see everything in person and just see the setup and have to see the entire Superstore in its entirety. Alright guys, what did you think about the Superstore? It was awesome. That's pretty dope. It was, uh, I didn't buy nothing. Y'all got stuff, I didn't get anything. I hope y'all can hear me, but. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff that you could basically buy off, off, the, off the shop, so I took the route of getting things that you don't normally see anywhere. It's a smart, it's a smart business move, Stephen, coming in with the business advice. John, what was your strategy coming in? Same thing. Same thing? $40, $40 for a t-shirt. I mean, they are just reaping money right now, but. I thought it was pretty dope. Lots of cool. The merch was the or the the artifacts were the best part. Like the the old, you know, like the Stone Cold Steve Austin vest and all that stuff was amazing. All right, guys, so I don't remember the last clip that I had, but uh, I wanted to hop on here for a quick update. First of all, yes, I did bring figures to San Antonio, so I did pack these. You know, I don't really know why. I got the Ultimate Lesnar in there, Elite 99 Rollins. Sami Zayn, his head fell off. We got Austin, we got Roman, we got Paul Heyman, Cody, Kevin, and The Rock. And I want to say, yeah, I got the goat. I had to bring the goat with me. So I did bring John Cena. I had to, you know. I thought about sneaking one down to the floor and bringing him to the show. I don't know if I'll do all that. But tomorrow at the Rumble, I think I'm going to wear the MDT jersey right here look at this jersey so I got this from Jersey Bird very cool website right here I I don't think these can be made like widely available at least not right now but it's got the pink with the zebra stripes in it it's got the blue black and yellow on the sleeves or down the side here it's got four because that's my favorite number MDT logo here got the triangle pattern this is my favorite detail right here if you zoom in on the NBA mock logo it is actually the John Cena ultimate edition figure holding up the WWE championship in the silhouette right there so that's one of my favorite details. I love the zebra print. Then if we flip it over, it has the number four again. We gotta have Brad on there. It has Brad there in the still time font. And then on the back, you do have the MDT World logo at the top. So I'm probably gonna wear this to the Royal Rumble. And, uh, you know, I kind of stick out like a sore thumb a little bit. But you know what? You gotta rep the brand, you know? But we have the figures. Here's my bag. I brought my Jordan 11 Lowe's. And then I brought my Kobe 4s here. Or one pair of my Kobe 4s. But I think I'm gonna wear these to the Rumble too. You know, I gotta rep my boy. So I'm gonna be repping, repping the Kobe 4s. Just such a beautiful iconic sneaker man god in heaven i love the kobe fours so we got the playoff kobe fours should be rocking those i don't know if i'm going to be wearing joggers or shorts tomorrow gonna depend but i think i'm gonna wear a hoodie underneath the jersey and i don't know if i'm gonna do the white hoodie the black hoodie or the black thin hoodie that i bought i don't know just lots of things on up in the air right now but right now me steven and jonathan are about to go to dinner they just walked out the door but yeah i just wanted to update you real quick like did a full toy hunt at wrestling shop 
fantastic store. That'll be in its own toy hunt video probably. I may show you what we got. I don't I don't know, but uh, we got to update you guys. There's a lot of clips and, you know, things going through. I don't even know how this video is going to be laid out, but I hope you guys are enjoying it anyway. A little bit different content as usual, but if I was flying out to San Antonio for the Rumble Bro, had to make videos, you know? So I got a toy hunt video in here. We're doing the vlog. Uh, expect to do big things at the Rumble tomorrow, but right now we're going to go to dinner. You know, I'll update you, get some funny clips in there maybe, but let's shut the hell up and go eat food. All right, we just decided on Torchy's Tacos. Hey, why'd we, why'd we come here? 4.7. John has, uh, John's sick, and we settled for, for Mexican food because we thought it would please, please him. <laughs> it cures a cold. And it had a 4.6 rating. I was hoping my, for a... My damn toys meets damn good tacos. Let's hope so. Let's see what happens. Well, every time we're talking... You how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm getting what I deserve, I'm reaping what I sow. I'm <laughs> feeling better, John. I am. I didn't get our damn food on film. <laughs> Don't worry, give me 30 minutes, I'll throw it up. <laughs> Falling apart, John. Dude, I'm wasted. <laughs> Give me a job back. Let me. John, John, you can't even stay away. <laughs> I'll put you behind the wheel. We're, we're, you're going to get a DUS. <laughs> Driving under sleep. Did you see Ray Howe? See what I can see? I got a phone book. All right, guys, it is Royal Rumble Sunday. It's actually on a Saturday. I thought it was Sunday. It's Royal Rumble Saturday, and we're about to go to what, WrestleCon? We're headed to WrestleCon, and then I guess we're just gonna hang out around the arena until it's time to go. Got the MDT jersey on, so I'll be able to get spotted from a mile away, which I have mixed feelings about, but I don't, I, we're just gonna F it, I guess. But yeah, we're all starving, we haven't eaten, and uh, it's, it's time to roll out. Cody's winning tonight, Rhea's winning tonight. Oscar. Oscar's winning tonight? I don't know, Brad. Well, we're rolling out. So we made our way over in the overcast, foggy San Antonio, Texas weather for that evening where they were holding WrestleCon at a Marriott Hotel is, I, is I, where I believe we were. But we made our way over. It was a very busy area. Tons of wrestlers, tons of fans making their way in and out of the building. Great hotel. We got to meet a ton of amazing people waiting in this very long line. And we got to even see a bunch of incredible things. This hotel was incredibly over the top, but we finally made it into where they were holding WrestleCon. Con after a long wait. All right, guys, we're here at WrestleCon. They have like a little pop-up event. We got some autograph figures and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna grab the RVD. I don't know why he did green. Well, maybe I have an idea why. But they have some dope figures up here. We got Braun Strowman, Ricochet. Forced together tag team now for some reason, but pretty dope. We got some turnbuckle pads and stuff. Hope you guys can hear me. It's like a mess in here. Met some fans, really dope. Oh, we got Liv Morgan in here, Bianca Belair, Malachi Black, or Alistair Black, I should say. Ooh, the Bret Hart's nice with the pink, pink pin. Shinsuke, got Rey Mysterio down there. Very nice. Could be wrong, but it looks like it. All Mattel fans know that. I don't know where Jonathan and Steven went. I'm just, oh, there they are. What's up, boys? Are we grabbing something? I don't know. Dude, the Young Bucks one's dope. I know. Yeah, right there, the Young Bucks turnbuckle. Ooh, the DX Sean one's though, dude. That's a pretty genius idea to have, like, to slap the logo on there and then have them as a display piece. Pretty genius. They just have Chase AEW things. I had to find mine in the wild. I wonder what the charges were compared to, like, a, the regular edition. How much are they charging for it? They want 150 for it. 150? I got one on my wall. I was about to say, you can go on my car and get it for, like, 75. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you, you a collector? Yeah, man. You watch, uh, do you watch My Damn Toys at all on YouTube? Yeah, every once in a while. Uh, that's me. No shit. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, wow. That's yeah, well, crazy. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, that's awesome. 
was like, well, hopefully some figure collectors will be there. Yeah, and all that absolutely. Around, that's crazy. That's awesome, bro. What's your name? John. John, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Whenever you start talking, I was like, oh, you kind of look familiar. <laughs> Yeah, I got the I got this yeah. on to help a little bit, but yeah, people say I don't show my face a lot, so I'm like, hey, you, can, you can be on the channel if you want to. All right. So, shout out to John. What a baller. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, man. You going to the Rumble? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, take care. All right, man. Got some more autos over here, buddy Murphy. We got the Zodiac. I don't even have that loose, let alone then on card and autograph. Ooh, a little nice edge here. Definitely gotta buy something. I just don't know what the hell I'm getting. I feel like I need to get this DDP just to have it loose, but they probably charge an arm and a leg. Oh snap, we got Cesaro down here. Very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Michael P.S. Hayes auto. Got the Ric Flair Championship, NWO. Great stuff, man, great stuff. All right, guys. No, this way. Just signed an autograph on this championship. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's dope. Got the Raw Tag Team Championship. I may have just devalued it, but that's okay. If you're, if you're going to hold on to it, I guess that's cool. Appreciate y'all again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the Rumble. John, what'd you think? It was awesome. It was awesome, dude. Look at these lines, bro. Ridiculous. Oh, shit. I about went down the escalator just then. We secured a purchase, and I don't know what the hell we're doing now. We're just waiting for the run before it. So after hitting up WrestleCon, we were starving, so we did stop off at Johnny Rockets for a couple burgers and shakes, walked around the mall for a little while until we ran out of things to do, so we went back to the Marriott Hotel lobby after walking all around the place, and while I was hanging out in the lobby, I found an unexpected guest. Look, I got my boy in the house. It's me. It's him. Oh. He's him. <laughs> it's Phoenix Nitro. Dude, turn around. I want to see the jersey. Look at the jersey, bro. Fire. Oh, look, at, look at my man's awesome. right here. I'm saying Vibe House. You already know how we rock in Dakota Kai on the shirt because you already know how we rock it. I'm saying. <laughs> Let's go, bro. It's good to see you, dude. Absolutely. I got to dab you up. Meet you. Me too, no, bro. I need the hand. It's just a floating hand. You know yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Oh, yeah. Currently walking to the stadium. John's rocking the, the RKO hoodie. I mean, the RKO jersey, which is mine, but that's okay. He's got to charge. I, I'm charging 25 bucks rental fee. He just does it. He hasn't got the bill yet. <laughs> Here we are. People lining up. People lining up. Gates open at what? 4:30. I haven't seen anybody with one of these cameras, bro. If I can't take this camera in, I'm gonna have to fight about 16 people at least. So after talking to my boy Dalton and walking over to the Alamo Dome, we were waiting outside in the long lines. People started crowding around and piling up at the door. Doors did not open up until 4.30, so we did go by the Superstore one last time to check it out. All of the merch was indeed sold out. You could not find anything outside of Royal Rumble merch at the Superstore at this time leading up to the event. So what I did was hopped in line with my boys. There was actually a charging port right beside where I was in line, so I decided to charge my camera and phone before we finally proceeded inside the Alamo Dome for the Royal Rumble pay-per-view event. So once we made it into the arena, there was a ton of people walking around the hallways, crowds and crowds of people filling up the lines to the merch stand, to the food lines. We made it to John and Steven's seat, and their seat was not bad whatsoever. The camera does not do it justice. I think they were about 50 yards or so away from the actual ring itself. We got to see the WrestleMania sign, the Royal Rumble sign, and after that, it was time to make my way to my seat, which was in section B, row one, seat number one on the floor, at the corner of the ring right over the barricade. This was actually my first pay-per-view event ever in person. I have enjoyed so many shows from the comfort of my own home, and I have been to live events. I've been to in-person shows at Raw or SmackDown, but this was my first ever Big Four pay-per-view and my first ever pay-per-view event in person, and it happened to be the Royal Rumble. All right, guys, this is the view for the night. Section B, row one, C one. A little bit further from the barricade than I like, but you know what? What a blessing. What a blessing. It should be amazing. I'm grateful. I'm looking forward to it, bro. I'm sitting down right here. I'm sitting down. But there's our cams. Across from our cams.
So the spot that I was sitting was actually very popular before the show, of course, people trying to get photo ops at ringside and things like that. And I actually sat across the aisle, maybe four feet away from Troy Dan and Brandon Does Everything, two other notable YouTubers there at the show. And it was insane, man. Getting to see those guys as well as some other people sitting around ringside was really awesome. Even the guy that gets on TikTok and does the random, you know, facts and, you know, he cuts people off in their stitches and things like that. He was there and they did a, they did a TikTok together right in front of me. It was a really enjoyable spot of the show, but after all this, it was time for the show to start. All right, guys, they just gave us these t-shirts right here, and I think it's just the new Bray Wyatt black light activated shirt. It's literally a blank black shirt. You can't see anything on it until the black light activates, and I don't know if I'm going to put it on. I think I'm just going to leave the pink MDT jersey on, and then if, if uh, it illuminates, it should light up the pink jersey more than this, but I don't know. Pretty cool to get a free shirt. I appreciate that. Somebody's sign. I have no idea what they're looking for, but that's a guy trying to steal somebody's sign. Somebody has a sign they don't like, and they're trying to take care of it.
than Logan Paul's in the Rumble, if I had to guess. I guarantee it. Elias with the return. Haven't seen him in a minute. So Cody Rhodes did win the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble. He was my pick to win the Rumble, so that was very exciting to see in person. I was very annoyed at the time that Logan Paul was number 29, but overall I felt that the Rumble was booked really, really well. I felt like it had a strong touch on it. I thought that it was booked particularly well. Interwoven storylines, things of that nature, but the next matchup was the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match in which they lit up the arena with this neon or they had the UV light or the purple lighting around the arena and I stood out like a sore thumb. I had my MDT jersey and white hoodie on and it was particularly insane because actually Bray Wyatt threw LA Knight right into my lap. Let's go, Bray! 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 Let's go, Bray!
So the match aesthetic for the pitch black match was cool to see in person, especially being illuminated. Getting that close to LA Knight and Bray Wyatt was insane. I had never been that close to the action, especially for WWE before. So that was really fun. The match after this with Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss was very quick, and I thought the match was not very good in person. It's like I like blink and you miss it. Even if you watched it live from the front row, very missable match. Even though it was enjoyable to see Bianca and Alexa in person, I still did not enjoy the match. I thought it flew by and then it was the women's royal rumble and by this point my batteries on all of my cameras my my handheld camera my phone and even my other phone were running low on storage and batteries so i had to be very selective on the clips that i got i did my best to get some clips for you guys all right so huge shout out to jason and brandy jones and their son brayson for uh buying me this chicken fajita or this chicken burrito that uh they just surprised me with it. So just a huge shot. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Don't uh, Thank you so much. I, I tried not to accept it. They wouldn't let me turn it down. So I'm going to enjoy it because it, it, it would be rude not to. But I appreciate it so much, man. Thank you so much. So Rhea Ripley did win the Women's Royal Rumble as expected, and I was glad for it. I thought she deserved it. I thought that the Women's Rumble wasn't too, too bad. Not, you know, just an ish ton of surprises, but it was overall an enjoyable one. I hate that I couldn't get more clips, but I did run out of space, as you guys know. But this was pretty cool. She walked past the ring. She told everybody to suck it and kiss her A, which I thought was pretty funny. But on to the main event now.
tailback. So the main event was spectacularly put together, man. This ending sequence with Sammy and the chair shot and the bloodline and everything. Kevin Owens tied up to the turnbuckle post and the ring ropes, man. Absolutely stunning. Perfect cinematography. I mean, it was just absolutely brilliant. I was completely dumbfounded in that moment witnessing it live. It was a beautiful thing to see. Just, just a beautiful moment. I mean, this show, it felt like a funeral had taken place after these moments at the end of the show and it was a brilliant way to end the show even though there was no rock there was no anything i think it put a perfect bow onto this show and i enjoyed every single second of it sitting ringside man truly unforgettable and unbelievable experience here at the royal rumble and what a way to end the show and i was so happy to be there live and to witness it and be a part of those final closing moments and this entire show in its entirety but they beat the hell out of Sami Zayn and kevin owens and they left them in absolute ruins. End of the show. Man. Seems like it seems like a funeral in here, man. That was insane. Alright boys, back at the hotel room after the rumble. We're all just bull just ridiculously exhausted. Fantastic show. Picked up raising canes right here. Uh, only thing open to be honest with you, but we're both we're all or all three of us are just exhausted Cody won, right man won, Rhea won, fantastic stuff. I can get into the details later But bro, I'm about to pass the fuck out after I ate this food. I'm I feel like I've been physically assaulted by Brock Lesnar, so <laughs> is, he, is he vomiting? Yeah, he said he wasn't, <laughs> wasn't feeling good You good, bro? Yeah.
Alright guys, so I am finally back home after the trip to San Antonio and I literally have zero words for the entire weekend or the entire trip. Got to meet so many incredible people, got to see so many incredible people even if I didn't meet them formally. I got to see them live and in person. I'm talking about from wrestlers to other YouTubers to just people in general. This weekend and this entire experience from going to the Royal Rumble, flying out to San Antonio was just an unbelievable experience from top to bottom. To every single fan that I met. I want to say I met like 40 to 50 fans, man, and it was just, it touched my heart truly. It was it was unbelievable. Just an unbelievable experience. Everybody I met was so nice. They were so genuine. Just, I was overcome with joy, and just I was overcome with joy, and I really, ha I just have no words, man. I'm just thankful. I am I am just super thankful. If I could take this entire trip and wrap it up with a bow and stick one word on the entire trip, it would be just be, just, just gratitude. Just being so thankful and just, just, I'm just incredibly blessed, man. That's all I can really say, man. To every single person that came to me and said that they were a fan of the channel or that, you know, people freaking out for meeting me and just coming up to me and talking about the channel or me or whatever the case was, man. Thank you. That's all I can say, man. And just, it was, it was just an unbelievable experience. And I'm not just talking about the Royal Rumble. Had I not even went to the Royal Rumble and just been able to meet all the people that I met around the show and got, I mean, it was just unbelievable. It was worth everything every single penny that we did for this trip, man. And it was it was just truly unbelievable. I mean, sitting right there, row one, seat one, to the Royal Rumble and experiencing it and getting to see all these incredible people. I mean, I, I could see The Rock's mom from where I was sitting. Logan Paul's entire crew was sitting there like five feet away. I, got, I saw JTG sitting in the row right there. Troy Dan and BDE were right next to me. I got to spend a little time with my boy Phoenix Nitro. I walked right by Ron Simmons. He was just chilling in the hotel lobby. DDP. Sean Waltman, Mick Foley was just right there. Me and Phoenix are just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Mick Foley just walks right by. Just, just. I didn't upload a lot of footage, or I may not have put it that much footage in the vlog about the wrestling shop. It's this really awesome wrestling action figure store in the mall in San Antonio. The owner of the wrestling shop, Oscar, was a genuine treat, man. He treated me with the utmost kindness and generosity and hospitality, just saying all these nice things about the channel. He, he was such a genuine soul, man, and if you're watching this, man, I greatly appreciate you. I guarantee we're going to work with them in some capacity here on the channel. You guys will see more of him in the actual toy hunt that we did at Wrestling Shop, so if you guys haven't seen it, you'll see it in that video, but unbelievable experience, man. I, I just have no words, and this is like a few days after I've got back now because I've, I've just been so sidetracked. I've been so sidetracked with the, with the show and just trying to get these new figure reviews up, man, but I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog. I hope you enjoyed just everything. If you met me in San Antonio, man, you guys were amazing. I plan to go on more trips. I plan on doing more stuff like this, so if any other experiences are like this one right here that I just experienced, man, I mean, I can't even imagine. It, it was just uh, such a, a fantastic experience overall, top to bottom, man. I have no words. Again, I'm still speechless from the entire weekend and it was just an amazing experience man i just thank you guys so much for making that that trip possible thank you guys for sticking by me for enjoying the videos for watching commenting liking man i appreciate it so very much being there live at the show was fantastic i had a great time i may still re review the royal rumble if you guys want to see my actual thoughts it, like being in there in person was obviously different and not to mention freaking bray white and la knight practically falling in my lap as i'm sitting there like within the camera's reach of me that was insane as well man i mean i'm talking about a just ridiculous experience at this royal rumble this show and this experience that I had this this Royal Rumble weekend will be a story that I tell to my kids and my grandkids and my great grandkids. And I'm glad that it's documented here on this YouTube channel, man. I may go more in depth in my experience and what my actual thoughts on the Royal Rumble show were all together at a later date, but I did want to upload this vlog and just kind of get this out here, man. But the number one thing I'll say is I wish that Cody was a surprise. I think that would have made the show a whole lot better had Cody been a surprise at the actual Royal Rumble. I thought Bianca and Belair and Alexa Bliss's match was very underwhelming. Bray Wyatt and LA Knight was a uh, very cool aesthetic. It was kind of, you know, it wasn't the greatest match of all time. I knew it would be a squash match, but at the same time, being that close to the talent really made me more invested in the matchup itself. And then the main event spoke for itself. They shouldn't have put the Hardy concert in the spot that they put it at, but you know, it's, it is what it is. But we can get into those thoughts later, man. But I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog anyway. It was a joy, joyous experience that I could 
never really uh, put into words how grateful and thankful I am for this experience and everybody who came up to me at the show, man. It was unbelievable and unforgettable, and I appreciate you guys so very much. But I'm getting out of here, man. That is going to wrap up the vlog. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Not to get too ooey-gooey on you, but good God in heaven, man. I'm just, I'm mind blown. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at my damn toys. Great stuff coming soon. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay, stay tuned for the toy hunt coming up soon. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. We'll never be